Hey there, this is Dr. Elowad and welcome to an animated immunology series from stepandrun.com. So far in the previous videos, we've examined monocytes and the differentiation of resident macrophages from alveolar to microglial to cup vessels. But we've yet to examine how our monocyte to macrophages respond during infection and inflammation. And that's what we'll be having a brief look at in this video how our monocytes respond during infection and inflammation. Now our story begins with a break in the skin. The most important and largest physical defense barrier has been breached. And through this breach, bacteria have been able to gain entry. So what happens next? Well, the bacteria, which contain foreign sugars and foreign antigen on its surface, trigger off the cells of the innate immune system, which are the first responders. Macrophages, dendritic cells, and other cells of the innate immune system have pathogen recognition receptors, such as the toll-like receptor, which recognizes molecules and substances that are shared commonly and broadly between a variety of different pathogens substances such as lipopolysaccharide and mannose sugars on the surface of gram-negative bacteria and the peptidoglycan wall of gram-positive bacteria. These foreign substances that the innate immune system recognize are collectively referred to as pathogen-associated molecular patterns or also known as PAMPs, pathogen-associated molecular patterns. So, what happens after the macrophage has come across a pathogen-associated molecular pattern? Well, it phagocytoses the bacteria. It then processes the foreign material and presents that antigen that was on the foreign material to CD8 cytotoxic cells. Now, the steps of this will be breaking down into detail in the next video. And the macrophage also begins to secrete chemokines. It secretes interleukin-1, which causes fever, acute inflammation, and stimulates the adaptive immune cells, which are your B cells and T cells. And it chemotactically attracts existing macrophages and circulating blood monocytes into the area to differentiate and give us more macrophages. The macrophage also secretes interleukin-6, which causes fever and stimulates the production of acute phase proteins. The macrophage also secretes interleukin-8, which as we'll see later on is the major chemotactic factor for neutrophils. And that's not all the macrophage secretes, it also secretes interleukin-12 and tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNF alpha. And these have a wide variety of various effects on a number of different cells throughout our body. And thus these chemokines cause circulating blood monocytes to arrive at the scene and quickly transform into more active macrophages. And this is one of the key factors of innate immunity. The response is quick, the response is non-specific, acting through pathogen recognition receptors to quickly recognize foreign pathogens and exterminate the threat quickly. In the next video, we're going to be having a look at how phagocytosis is performed by our phagocytes, including our macrophages, as well as examining the important and key point that bridges the innate and adaptive immune system. And that is antigen presentation. Okay, so thanks for watching. And if you'd like to stay updated on our future videos, make sure to subscribe. And we'll be seeing you in the next video.